Yeah, let's go down to the store and get some uh, get some sodas or something. Let's go do that. Yeah, good stuff. Oh boy! Hey, what the heck? Truck won't start. Oh wait a minute! My battery's showing dead over here. What the heck? Look at that. Ah, oh, doggone. Guess I'm gonna have to deal with the batteries. Oh, my meter says it's dead, so let's check the voltmeter and see what it says. Yeah, so go ahead and pop the hood open. Might as well pull the key out. Oh. Why is my truck treat me like this? Well, let me get this open here. Oh, oh. Alright, let's get that meter up here. Yeah, put it on 20 volts. Ah, that ought to work. Oh, that's it. Just dump over on me there. Right in the middle of my video. Thank you. 1141. Well, that's weird. How come it's, uh, reading, uh, that should be about 12 and a half volts. Hmm. Must have a bad battery or something. Well, if this has ever happened to you, you're going to want to find out which battery is bad. Is it this one over here? Or is it this one over here? So there's a couple of ways you can find out. Um, one of them is to go ahead and charge it up and disconnect it and let it sit overnight and see which one drains. Uh, that's after you disconnect it here. You could uh, put a load tester on it. You can also do an acid test with it there's there's a little bulb thing but if you don't have a bulb tester uh, just go ahead and pull the battery out and take it down to somebody and, and have them test them uh, both of them however I know that this battery over here is two years old they were Bosch Platinums they had a three-year warranty on them both this is also Bosch Platinum but there's a case over it so you can't see that right here so uh, but I know that this battery it's five years old and the reason I know that is because I replaced that one two years ago when it failed just before the three-year warranty so these are about 200 and some dollars after taxes and stuff uh, I went down and I went ahead and bought a motorcraft to replace this battery right here when the car does jump and start uh, the alternator puts out about 13 and a half volts uh, Actually, I think it was 1373, something like that. And so I knew the batteries were charging. Uh, I'd bring the truck back. I would shut the truck off, wait a little while, come out, and the truck would start just fine. But overnight, one of the batteries was going dead. So I don't know which one it was. But theoretically, this would be the bad one because it's five years old. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and change this battery. And I'm going to show you guys how to change uh, the driver's battery. Uh, the uh, passenger battery is pretty much the same thing. Here's your release bolt right down here. You just pull that up and pull your battery cables. Pull them both at the same time. So if you have one that flops over like this positive right here, it won't spark an arc on the frame right here. Because this cable right here runs directly under here right under this right over here and straight over to here these two batteries are in parallel so they put out 12 volts but twice the amperage these are 850 cranking amps so that's 1700 amps cranking amps that's a that's a lot of amperage you get this off right here and you put that on the frame it's really going to cause havoc with you guys so Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to change the driver's battery. First thing you need to do is go ahead and round up your tools. So let me go grab those and I'll show you what they are. Okay, here's the tools you're going to need and stuff. You'll need some uh, paper towels, anti-seize for the bolts, 
a little ratchet, eight millimeter bolt, a little wobble extension. If you have a deep uh, bolt or the bolts are, or the nuts are way down on the bolt, you'll need a half inch deep socket or 12 millimeter deep socket. You'll need a half inch wrench or a 12 millimeter wrench. It depends on if somebody's changed the bolts on, or nuts on it. A screwdriver to help spread them a little bit. Some soda pop to remove any corrosion. You'll need uh, some battery terminal protectant in order to protect the battery terminals, help prevent future corrosion. Uh, you'll also need a little meter to see if the batteries or alternator is charging after you change the battery. You should probably test that before you change the battery, but just in case. And one thing I didn't show here is you'll need a little wire brush to uh, brush off uh, any corrosion and stuff. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, the first uh, battery I like to take off is this one right here. Uh, you may need either a half inch or a 12 millimeter. It really depends on uh, which nut is on here. Mine just happens to be half inch. Uh, I think originally it was 12 millimeter and to get the largest screwdriver you can find and just kind of squish this back and forth just slightly like that. And the reason I like doing this one is because you can take it off and you could set it right here and it's not going to touch anything. And that way you can get the other one off uh, without having any problems. So let's go ahead and move over to the other side. Now this one, since I'm going to change the battery, I'm going to go ahead and remove both terminals. So let's grab our, uh, our half inch wrench and loosen this up. This side over here. Grab our screwdriver. Just give it a little a little twist in here like that both sides you may have to go like this a little bit try not to do it too much because you can't squish the ends like on the other one and this one now you can take it off since the other one's off on the other side this is now the battery is totally disconnected you can take that and drop it down here just remember to put this one on first and then the other one and before you connect the batteries make sure that they're isolated from something if you're really not too sure just wrap a cloth around it then so go ahead and grab this one twist it back and forth and lift and it should come off now when you get your battery terminals um, before you put them back on these like to get corrosion up in here and these bolts they're really bad so what I usually do is I'll take them off and I'll go ahead and paint them. You don't have to worry about this being conductive or non-conductive. What you really need to worry about is that it's covered so that um, corrosion won't get on it. And there's a spray that uh, I was showing you in the tools and chemicals, the battery terminal spray, you want that stuff. Okay, so then the area that's really important that needs to be clean is the, the center in here. And that's what you're gonna use this battery tool cleaner tool for. It's got an inside part here that you can set in here and clean it up. You can go back and forth, clean it up real good. Stick this back on here. It's got a little detent right there. Stick it, twist it, and then you can go on the battery terminals and clean those up before the new battery goes in. And I recommend doing it even on a new battery just to make sure you have good contact. So once you get these cleaned up, uh, you can use a wire brush. Uh, that should have been in the tools. And then you can use some soda pop too, even before you take them off. You just have to make sure that uh, the battery caps are down. If it's a bad battery, you don't have to worry about it. And the reason is the battery caps need to be down. Let's go over to the other side here real quick. These battery caps right here, these have to be down because if the soda pop gets inside your battery, it will kill your battery. So be, be sure that these are down. Wash the batteries off, dry them off, and then put some of these on here on the, on the battery terminals. And it will clean the corrosion off. Just let it sit there for about 10 or 15 minutes. Come back with some high pressure water. Squirt them off with the hose. Don't get it on you or your clothes. because You'll pull clothes in your clothes when you pull them out of the washing machine. You'll put your clothes on and it's like, oh, what's going on here? It's because the battery acid will eat your, your cloth and your shirt and stuff. So make sure and protect yourself, wear a junkie shirt or something, and don't get none of that on you. After you rinse it off, if the corrosion's not gone, go ahead and put some more on it, wait another 15 minutes, come back, squirt it off, and then normally there might be a little bit still left in there. Go ahead and pull the battery terminal off, and then go ahead and get a wire brush, clean it up. Take these bolts right here, knock them out, 
Uh, this one's a brand new bolt. I put it in there because it was it was really corroded, it was super bad. It was like almost chewed in half. I was like, wow. So I went ahead and replaced this bolt. You can just buy a battery terminal at the store and it'll have one of these bolts in there. And that's where the half inch uh, nut came from. And this one over here, um, don't want to connect that because I don't know where the other terminal is. Uh, this one right here, it was getting kind of chewed up inside. So what I'll do is I'll put an oversized nut on there to make sure it, it'll fit in this area and it'll squish it together flat instead of trying to dig in uh, like some of the other nuts. I'll have like a little recessed area. So that's just some good information uh, for some of you guys that don't really change a lot of batteries, don't know much about it. Uh, you professionals, yeah, you could probably all skip most of this information. I, I, I had a guy complain once, oh, you talk too much. It's like, well, yeah, what are you watching my video for if you know what you're doing? So, anyways, um, back over to this. So, let's go ahead and we're going to set this one. Hold on, let me push this one back down and make sure it's out of the way. Safety first. All right, and then take this one down here. We're going to set it down in here. We got this one off. Uh, I already pre-prepped all these terminals uh, before I did the video. I probably should have did it, but I was in a hurry to get the truck uh, fixed up for my wife uh, last week. So I didn't get to it. So anyways, went ahead and bought a new battery for it. Let me show you what I got. Anytime you buy a battery, always buy the best battery that money can that you can afford. And I bought the original Motorcraft for this side. And when the other boss goes, I'll change it. And this, uh, I think after taxes, is about 180 some dollars. I think it was on sale for 167 right, I picked this particular battery up at O'Reilly's. Um, most auto parts stores, including O'Reilly's, will do battery installs on most vehicles. Not all of them, but most vehicles. They won't do battery terminal changes or cleaning as far as I know. You might want to give them a call and ask them about that if your battery terminal is bad. But at least the battery is in the vehicle and you can take care of that if you need to. And then they'll sometimes they'll prorate them past three years too. Uh, if it goes bad within three years, you get a free replacement, typically a free install. Uh, if it goes past three years, they prorate it based on, I think, up to a seven-year scale. If you ask your, your parts supplier, they'll tell you that. All right. So back onto this. In order to get this cap off, there's no screws or anything you have to do. All you have to do is let me zoom down here and I'll show you. All right, these right here, they just pull out. There's a, like a little clip right here that hooks over the top. You just grab this, pull it up like that. And if it doesn't come up, there's one here. And then there's also two right over here one here and then one right over here you'll have to sorry about that you'll have to get your hand in there and there let me see if i can't get you a better angle here on that one there you go so you have to get this right here and, and uh, pull this little tab out and then there'll be one down over here that you'll have to pull out just pull it out right 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 under here same thing with this just pull them out let me zoom out a little bit there we go. So you can just pull them out. And then once that's done, uh, this just comes right off like this. And this is uh, like your fresh air dam right here. Your fresh air comes in from right in here up under your grill. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right, yeah, it's right down in here and then up down in here. Uh, it comes in here and it goes into your air filter box. It goes up and then goes into your into your uh, intake over there or I'm sorry it goes into your blower all right now to get the battery out after you've done that got the cover out of the way you have a, a bolt right here that you're gonna have to remove so let's get the go get the bolt for that and we'll get it off all right you're gonna use an eight millimeter on this and screw it off you don't need to watch me do that whole thing, I'm sure. Alright, after you get it closed, you can just pull this off and use your finger. And you should be able to just pick this up like this. Boom. And this is what holds your battery on right here, this edge right here. 
goes over the edge of the battery. Before you put this back on though, get some uh, anti-seize and put it on here. So if you get any acid or anything down inside the battery, it won't corrode. And hold that on there and snap off when you try to take it off later. All right, once you have that off, you can grab your strap. If you don't have a strap, well, you're just going to have to muscle it out of there. Now, caution on the cloth straps like this one. Um, they can get a little bit of acid on them and eat the cloth. So be careful when you're pulling this out. Just pull it straight up and then out of the car. Now, while you're here, take a look down inside and make sure everything's fairly clean and good now I probably could go and take care of that bolt pull that out and clean it all up paint it put some anti-seize on it but realistically I need to get this truck up and running I need it uh, day after tomorrow and the Sun's going down all right next thing you got to do is just grab your new battery and drop it in there well not drop it but set it in there so let me grab my new motorcraft here just set it in there and it should set in there and kind of be steady. All right. Now, when you put it in there, make sure on the driver's side that the positive is towards the engine. When you're on the passenger side, if you're doing this battery, the positive side is going to be on the other side, but towards the engine too. So you got to remember that when you put those in. You can't. You can put them in backwards. And if you do that, they won't. They won't fit. So let me go get my uh, anti-seize and we'll get some on that nut on this uh, this battery hold down bolt and we'll get that installed all right I got my uh, anti-seize go ahead and put some stuff on here this stuff is really good to have uh, especially on your older trucks and stuff because let's face it you get a little bit of corrosion and thing on these and they just want to break they don't want to work right all right now way down inside there there's a hole you can see it right here there's a hole that's where this goes so you just set that down in there and tighten that back up get your uh, your little ratchet set it in there put your lever and down you go now most of the time whoever you buy the battery from if you ask them they will change the battery for free. A lot of times you'll see that on the website too. It'll tell you, all right, give your battery a good shake. Make sure everything's good. Stick your strap down. Some of these, uh, I may have to remove the strap because I don't know if the cover will fit over it, but I'll give it a shot. Pull your, uh, sorry, pull your safety caps off. Make sure this strap is all the way down. Let me go wide angle here. Make sure your strap is all the way down. The cover may or may not fit on it. Now, here's that corrosion I was talking about on a brand new battery. Well, that's because it sits there and it just corrodes from the moisture in the air. That's where you want one of these. So that's what I said. Even on a new battery, you want to uh, you want to go ahead. Whoa. <laughs> you want to uh, clean it up. Make sure you got a good clean surface all the way down to the bottom. Sometimes you can go backwards too. Depends on how often the tool has been used and how old it is. Now the terminals are actually different sizes. The negative side is a little bit smaller and it's on that way on purpose. So if you put a positive on it, it won't tighten up. There we go. All right, just blow that off. All right now grab your cover set your cover on there okay so the strap was able to go down and there's like a little lip over here just make sure the lip goes over it it, it won't go down if it's not over it but just make sure it's there all right now go back over here make sure your positive battery's not touching anything it's not come back over here take your battery terminal Stick it on there. Stick this one on here. Now this one is a little funky sometimes. You'll have to kind of play with it a little bit because this part likes to sit up. 
So you might want to take this and turn it a little bit and then never use a hammer. But if you want to tap it a little bit like this, let me use two hands for this. There we go. If you want to tap it a little bit, you can do that. And the reason you don't use a hammer is this just plastic. I know this from experience. I've actually broken a battery before. Took it back to the auto parts store. The guy looked at me and kind of laughed. He says, you know, we don't warranty batteries that you use hammers on. And I said, yeah, I know. And he just kind of, he just smiled a little bit. And I guess because I buy parts from him, he just let me, uh, <laughs> he gave me a new one. I guess he wrote it up that they had uh, dropped it or something. So that was really nice of him. But if you're not dealing with an auto parts store or a specific auto parts store on a regular basis, you may not get that perk. All right, and grab your terminal. Make sure it's on there nice and snug. Don't over tighten them because if this pinches up, then all the way, then you've actually warped it. And when you go to change that battery out next time, you're gonna to have to straighten them out. And it shouldn't twist when you grab it. This should, let, me, uh, let me grab it here. These should not twist. When you're grabbing these and you're pushing on them like that, they shouldn't twist on, on the terminals. If they don't twist, then it's on tight now. All right, let's go grab the other one here real quick. And this battery may actually be dead because the other one may have pulled it down. Now, normally when you change the battery, you change them both at the same time, specifically in a dual battery system. But I know that this battery is probably still good and it's still got another probably two years left on it. So I didn't really want to, uh, didn't want to do that, change that whole battery system out because that's that's pretty expensive that's almost 400 bucks to change two batteries now normally uh, i would go ahead and throw the charger on this and let it sit for an hour and then try it but since the sun is going down uh, i think i might just go ahead and jump in and see if it'll start don't forget to put your uh, covers up on top of this forgot that grab this one make sure it doesn't twist doesn't okay all right now, if you want, you can get, like, uh, I was going to do it, I forgot, in order to help keep corrosion off, go ahead and put some of this stuff on there. And I think I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. So let me prep it up, and then I'll show it to you. I don't know if you can hear me. I'll just talk extra loud and zoom in. Uh, if you put your meter on it, and you're reading over 12 and a half volts, it means that the batteries are charging. And I got 13, 4, 3. Uh, the first time when I did this with the other battery in here after I got it started, I had like 1373 or something like that. So I know that this one's got a lot bigger charge on it. Uh, I lost some footage, but I actually did put it on the charger. I, I actually just jumped in and saw if it was starting to start it right up. I was like, yeah, okay, well, I know which battery was bad now, and that was the one I pulled out, which I suspected it was five years old. All right, uh, I forgot to show, show this. That was part of the footage I lost. Uh, basically, I just took some paper towels, and I wrapped it around the terminals, and I used some spray, and I sprayed it. I think I'll just skip it this time, skip the towels, and just go ahead and spray these real quick like that that's all you got to do put a little extra on there if you want a little extra protection let it dry for a little bit and come back and put some more on it the big area you need to take care of is this area right here where the bolt goes in really worried about your paint go ahead and cover it all up be worried about it. I'm not worried about it it's an old it's an old beater truck well not a beater truck but it's an old truck <laughs> mr. reliable is what I call it so. all right guys I want to thank you for watching I'll go ahead and put a list of tools and everything in the front and beginning thanks for watching uh, God bless you all if you like it give me a thumbs up I know a lot of you professionals could complain at how long the video took but you know hey if you're a professional probably don't need to watch this. This is more for the beginners. 
So God bless y'all and keep on you out. Bye. Hey guys, it's been uh, over a week since I put this new battery in here and it's running great. So obviously the five-year-old battery was the was the problem. On a little side note here, uh, there's a YouTube channel by the name of Dirty Diesel. And this guy, <laughs> I, I go check out his channel. He's got a pretty cool little channel. And he, he just sent me this hat because... Uh, you know, I, I, I comment on his videos and give him suggestions and stuff. So he's a new guy. He's just starting out. So go by and visit his channel and give him a subscription, even if you never come back to the channel, which I doubt it. You, If you go to his channel, you'll find something there you like. And his videos are short, sweet, and pretty much to the point. And uh, so, like, if you're on your break at work, he, he puts out some great little videos just for you to uh, chew up some of your... Uh, your break time or whatever it were so anyways go check out his video and his channel and just have a good one and tell him keith nunya sent you all right talk to you later bye